fight! Hey guys, this is Versatile from VST Power, now host on Project Phoenix Media. So this is part three of the tutorial series for the PlayStation 3, where in this particular part, we're going to show you how to downgrade the PS3, and then also install the QA flag, and then just officially go back to OFW 3.55. So I just finished the, the downgrade process with the hardware flasher, the E3 flasher. So what I have inserted is my, is my uh, USB thumb drive that has the Rogero downgrader. So let's go ahead to... Um, system update, update via storage medium, scanning, 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 3.55, Rogero downgrader, press OK, X, and let's continue. OK, user agreement, OK, let's go down, all right, that looks good, accept, and then we're just going to start it. So let's do this. So just to recap, if you go to the more info section, I will have links to my previous videos and the, the main um, forum tutorial that I used to, to do my uh, modding of my system here. It's a really great tutorial. So just to recap, um, if you're above 3.55 and if you are verified that your model can go back to 3.55, then you definitely will need a hardware flasher. So there's no if ands, or buts about it. You definitely got to get a device like that. So for my example, I use the E3 flasher. Okay, so the PS3 took that update, it's rebooting, and we'll see what the next steps are here. Okay, it's checking for update data. Please wait. Press the PlayStation PS button to use the controller, so I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Alright, it's connected. Actually, okay, here we go. Great. For a minute there, I thought I might have to, you know, connect the USB cable to my PlayStation controller, but apparently I did not have to. It wirelessly synced it. So I think what I'm going to do to help save some time is I will edit the video and sort of cut forward or move forward here, and uh, we'll continue after that. All right, sweet. So that part of it is done. So let's go ahead. Let's go to system settings here. And let's check out what it says. System information, 3.55. Awesome, because before I was 4.66. That's so badass. So what we're going to do is earlier in the video, um, actually what we're going to do actually is um, we're going to install the... Um, the QA Flasher program. So basically go to your computer. I have a, section, a link in the more info section where you got to download the QA Packager, the QA Flag, and put that on your USB thumb drive format as FAT32. And then also install the, the Condor Package. So if I go to Game here, look at this. Install Package Files. Awesome. So if I press X here, we have two updates because that's what I put on my FAT32 USB thumb drive. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and install the Toggle QA first. Let's go ahead and do that. Awesome, install complete. Now to, to check that it installed properly, back to Toggle QA. And let's go ahead and turn it on. So we got that done. Okay, great. So now what we need to do is now we go back to network settings. Now we press L1, L2, R1, R2, L3, and the down button, and we see these settings here. Awesome. Don't do anything with that. We just know that it works. Great. Next thing we need to do is we're going to go back to here, and we're going to install package files, and I'm going to install the Condor Updater. It's just an easier way to take your PS3 and turn it into recovery mode rather than doing like the old school power button method. If you're curious about that method, uh, see the annotation. I got that list of how that works. So now what I'm going to do is, whoa, I'm going to go ahead and run the program. And then it should put your PS3 into recovery mode.
Okay, great, awesome. So what we're gonna do now is let's go back to the computer. We're gonna put the OFW 3.55 onto the USB thumb drive, format it the proper way, and then we'll, we will resume this video. Let's do this. All right, so in this next portion of the video, let's show you how to properly put OFW 3.55 firmware on your USB thumb drive and go to the video description to download that particular file. So just to recap, like I discussed in part two of the video, just make sure you have your USB thumb drive uh, format as FAT32. If you don't remember how to do that, just right click your thumb drive under my computer format. Just make sure it's a FAT32 file system here. Give it a name, quick format, that's perfectly fine. So let's go ahead and go inside there. We're gonna make a folder here called PS3, all capital letters, so PS3. Inside that folder, make a new folder called Update all caps, press enter. And now what you want to do is take your downloaded OFW 3.55 firmware file and just paste it. So control C and then control V to paste it. Or you could just right click the file, say copy, and then go to your thumb drive, right click and say paste. Once you have copy and pasted that file or moved the file into your thumb drive, what you want to do is rename the file. So it says ps 3 updatpup and then go ahead, eject that thumb drive and insert it in the rightmost USB port on your PS3. So let me go ahead and rename this real quick here. So I'm gonna say PS3 updat.pup. Okay, cool. Let's go out of this. Go to here to the USB and safely eject my USB here. And we're good to go. So all we need to do next is insert into the PS3 rightmost USB port and get ready for the next portion of this modding process. So let's do this. Okay, we're back. So here's just take a look at my PS3. And what we got is we got my USB thumb drive with the new OFW 3.55 renamed to PS3 up dot that um, pop. And then I also have my PlayStation 3 controller connected with the cable. So let's go back to the TV here. And let's do this. So I connected, let's press the PS button. System software cannot be run correctly. Press the PS button to try to restart the system. Blah blah blah. Or otherwise, you can press, uh, let's see here, do the start and select. So let's do that right now. Checking. Please wait. And then we're, we should be in good shape to finish this process here. Okay, great. Now it's preparing to update. And to help save some time, I will most likely edit portions of this video and go near the end. And then after this process is completed, we will be on official 3.55. And then from there, you can go ahead and install any CFW that you want. Technically speaking, I could just go on straight to like a CFW 4.66 or a 4.5, but I thought it'd be better to go straight to OFW 3.55, make it a clean install, and then from there, just branch out to wherever I need to go. So I'll probably have another future video game tutorial, a really quick one that shows what that process looks like. Should be real simple. But uh, at least the hard part is done. Installing the E3 flasher clip, downgrade the system that way, flash the NOR chip, and then all this software stuff, that's easy peasy compared to the hardware portion of it. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and skip forward to the end of this process. All right, sweet. So after that process has done, we're going to see this screen. So let's press the uh, X on the controller or press the PS button. Actually, let's do that. Okay. And then here we are at the main menu. Let's go back to system, system settings. Let's go back down to system information, 3.55. And then we take a look in the game section here. We see that I cannot install the package files that has been removed. And we are on the official uh, 3.55. OFW. So in the future, I'll have another video tutorial that shows you how to install the CFW. There's tons of different tons of different CFWs out there on the internet, and I'll probably update to I don't know 4.66 CFW or something like that. We'll see. So you guys have any nitpicky questions in the comment here on YouTube page? I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.